Ooh. What is going on guys? Welcome back to another episode on the Chaos Craft server. And <laughs> this is take two for me. I just recorded a 30 minute LP and I just ended the recording. Well, I didn't end the recording. Let me see what happened. I got to the end of what I thought I was recording and I went to stop my recording to find out that I wasn't actually recording at all. And <laughs> I did quite a bit. I did quite a bit. Like nothing um, major in my house. I've took some of it down because I want to redo it again. But I left some of it there because I just didn't want to take it all down. So I wanted to show you guys what I was actually doing. But a lot of it was just talking and stuff like that. But let me go over what I did in the last 30 minute recording. I started planning out some of this area here for where my farms are going to go. Earlier on. I dug out all this space, this is where my wheat farms and stuff are going to go. I was planning it out with these wood blocks here and I realised I weren't recording so I stopped. I've done some of this path. I will explain to you more what this area is going to be like. I found a little cool area out there too. And I was in here and I was finishing off my melon farm. I've got one more road to do up there and in the last episode, the majority of the talking what I did well not the last episode, in the episode that I didn't record I destroyed my pumpkin farm because we are going to replace the pumpkin farm with this farm here like this one I got melons in so I'm just going to do this, so a lot of the talking and stuff was taken up by me just destroying that, but that's gone now oh and I dig out this space too here and one thing I asked was I want you guys to give me some suggestions for um, sugarcane and cactus farms because this is where they're going to go, I think cactus farms is pretty straightforward um, I think I could probably come up with a fully automatic cactus farm but sugarcane ones I haven't really seen a sugarcane one has any of you got any ideas of any sugarcane farms that once you press a button they harvest but you don't need to replant I want some good ideas you can either tweet them to me or you can come on the fan server and you can you can um, build them and show me them there so any ideas for sugarcane farms I would really appreciate it um, but yeah, there was a few things in the last episode um, in the comments. I always read my comments. You guys suggested to me, and it was this iron pressure plates. And I don't know why I put iron pressure plates there. You guys were totally right. Why have I got an extra? Oh, oh look, I did an enchant in my last episode. That is the pick I got right there. That's why I've only got 10 levels, and that, that's the pick I got there. I did a level 24 enchant, so there's going to be no enchant at the end of this. But yeah, um, you guys are totally right. Um, I had stone pressure plates there like I've got on this side. And items do not activate stone pressure plates. I knew that. I don't know why I put I put um, iron ones there. Don't know why. So let's do this now. I knew items didn't activate stone pressure plates. Just wasn't thinking. So let me go and replace this. And put the stone ones there. Did that button? Where'd that button go? Yeah, I got it. So let's put that back. Button there, button there. And another thing, I've got the sign already. A lot of you told me why the melons were lagging when they were coming down. It's because the sign needs to be down one level. The sign was on this cobblestone block. I need to put it on that snow block there. And apparently that will stop some of the lag. So let's go and try it out and see if it works. Is that water going to stop? Still going down. What's going on there? Oh, it's coming down. Is it? Come on, water. There we go. Get rid of that. Yeah, right. Let's see if that stopped any of the lag. Let's harvest. Still a little bit slow. Yeah. Um. Didn't really notice the difference. If I'm totally honest. Well, it gives me a lot of melons though. Right. I want to go and finish off this last part of this melon farm because I was doing that. So I stopped doing that too. I can't believe I did that. You, out of all the time I've been recording videos, it's been like a year now, I have never ever done that. I've never started a recording and thought I was recording and I wasn't. That is a first for me and it is really frustrating. I'm not sure how long this episode is going to be now because of that. But there was one thing I was talking about in the... the oh, I failed. There was one thing I was talking about... I'm going to have to go down. There was one thing I was talking about in the last recording that wasn't a recording was that um i want to start doing console gameplays like not very often i haven't got enough blocks not very often probably just like once a week i've been thinking about it for a very long time 
I've been asking a few of you guys in the live stream and some of you said yeah you would like to see some console gameplays just like one episode a week um, I'd be really cool to know if you guys um, would watch it so if you guys would like to see me do a console game let's play like once a week or so um, let me know because I do play console I've got an Xbox and I play it quite a lot I haven't really been on it that much but I'll probably no not probably I'll definitely be getting like an Xbox or a PS4 um, the new one, the Xbox One, but not a, not that many good reviews on it. So it looks like I'll be getting a PS4 and not an Xbox One. I might even get both. I'm not sure. But when I get that, I feel like why not record some videos? I've got all you guys who like watching me play games, and I've got the equipment to record videos. I've got an Elgato HD PVR. So if you guys want to see me play some console games, please let me know because I really want to do it. I might even just do it as a tester to see what the response is like, see if people want to watch it and stuff like that. Just to see how it goes. Um, but yeah, let me know what you you guys want to see and what you think of it. Um, what was I going to say? There was one game that I wanted to play called uh, Sleeping Dogs. I did tweet out about that. So I haven't got no bone meal, but that should be alright. I'll just leave it to grow. Yeah, that's it. It's Melon Farm done. Right, I just wanted to finish off that layer. It's good to go. I'm right close to the surface here, so I didn't want to go any higher than this. Yeah, so let me know about the console game, guys, in the comments if you would like to see me do that. If you would watch me uh, play some console games, Sleeping Dogs is a game that really interests me. Or let me know of any games you would like me to see me play too. Um, we're going to do the pumpkin farm exactly the same as this farm here, just in this area. I was trying to get silk touch so I can get rid of this ice. I really do not want to waste this ice because I do not have a lot of ice left. I think it's in here. 25 blocks. Really want my silk touch back. But yeah, pumpkin farm's gonna go here. I'll probably end up doing that in the live stream with Zai. Um so let me go to my farm and show you what I was actually going to do in that area. So yesterday yesterday night and some of this morning spent forever digging this part out here um, kind of awkward it went outside here it's got this cool little area uh, by the mountains and stuff it looks really good I didn't know what wall creeper didn't know whether to do something with it oh. go die 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 yeah Did, oh, was, oh there's loads of mobs in here didn't know whether to do something with this area here it's kind of like you guys know I live in a mountain and this is kind of looks like, like a hole in the mountain it looks really cool I was just walking around it earlier I don't know if I should do something like have a big window in my house looking out over it or something. I'm not sure. Because my tree farm, if I go back in this area over here, my tree farm is going to go in this section over here. So I need to do more digging. I don't know if it's going to come out on this side. Really not sure. But what I was explaining why I wasn't recording was what I'm going to do in this section here. And I dug down there. Look, that goes to my... um. That goes to my animal barn. Down there, look. Showing you that as my cows right there. This all needs to be filled up. I'm gonna do it later when I've got some smooth stone on me. Yeah, but what I was showing you here is that this section all here is going to be my wheat farm. And I kind of worked it out is that I'm gonna have these all these different sections. So let's do this. A section is gonna start from here, and the water is gonna go at the back there, and this is going to keep the water in going along here and I think it goes across 11 blocks I worked it out so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 then there's going to be a separator there going all the way to here oh no not there I've gone too far all the way to the, here because that's where the path is going to start here let's do it on this side too and this section here is kind of where my wheat's going to go and I worked it out, I think there's like 65 blocks here, so I'll probably end up getting a stack of wheat from that. But let me show you what it does. So if the water is back in this position here, oh, I need to put a block there. Let's just run this out here like that. If I destroy this block here, it should run to the end and stop. So what that's going to do basically, I'll have the water back here. I'll connect pistons to these blocks. They will go down and it will harvest all the wheat going down there so that is my plan uh, some of you may have seen it before with my semi-automatic farms I did I think that's the best option to do the farms they're really they're really simple to do these type of farms so yeah that's what I want to do but there was 
something I wasn't too sure about was this path here. So let me just tear this up and explain to you again what I wanted to do with this path. Now I could have the path one of two ways because I know a lot of you are screaming out for me to do something with hoppers. I, when I did my other farms over here they were like use hoppers and I said in my last episode that I didn't really like hoppers, didn't really want to use them, they look ugly and you can't hide them. But there's one good thing with hoppers that you can do, you can put half blocks on top of hoppers and then you can't see the hopper and that's perfect for me, I don't want you to be able to see the hopper. So I've got one of two options in this part here where the farms harvest. I can do the path like this, so let me show you, I can do the path just leading on from this point like this, going all the way across there, but this option here is without any hoppers. This option looks better in my opinion but it hasn't got any hoppers so I just have to collect the stuff myself. So the path will be like this going all the way across, the water would run down and the wheat would just stop on this dark wood block here. I'd have another section of farms in this side and it would do the same here. So the path could be like that but the good thing about this is that it looks good here. It joins up with this section right here. But my next option is if I take this away you see this little hole that I'm just falling in right now I could put hoppers down there so hoppers will be in this little gap here so I could put hoppers all the way along where the water would fall down but then what that means with the path I would need to bring it down half a block so it kind of looks a bit weird when it gets to like this part here let me show you what it's going to look like once I get all this wood it's kind of going to look weird when I get to this part here because it's going to have to go down like that so the half is going to have to go down here and the hoppers will be underneath these blocks here because if you didn't know hoppers items can go through half blocks into hoppers so that's kind of a little cool feature if you didn't know that but if I do that the path is going to have to be like this and there is one thing I don't like about having the path like this is this little step up bit here I don't know you guys tell me what you think does that look okay should I have the path like this and just have hoppers have it come into this point here and then they all get put into a chest I'm not sure uh, yeah let me know what you guys think but in this area here there's going to be uh, another section going off in this way so let me just get some blocks and roughly show you so again there's going to be a divider there and then it's going to be another 11 blocks going off this way I don't think this is quite 11 but yeah I'm going to have four sections I'm going to have two on this side two on this side like I've got there this is going to be wheat uh, it works out to a stack like I said before with the 64 blocks and on this side this will be like I don't know carrots and then on this side this will be potatoes and then on the end here I will do never wart I think I think you can harvest never wart the same way that you're harvesting, harvesting stuff here the only annoying thing about this these type of farms is that you have to replant but I'm not too bothered about that I won't use much carrots and potatoes it's just just the fact of having the farms in my house I kind of want my house to be complete with everything but I think this area will look good I can't really think of any like unique ways to do like a wheat farm or anything so I'm gonna stick to my traditional way of doing it it's gonna be pretty annoying because I've got to fill all these walls up with snow make this room look really good yeah so I might need to recalculate the measurements once I filled out with snow and stuff but my tree farm is gonna go in this direction so I need to dig all this stuff out and do my tree farm in that direction um, probably just gonna have a standard tree farm with all the little plots like like we have at spawn on this server I really need a tree farm because I use so much of this dark wood I always have to keep going outside and just planting trees and chopping them down is annoying so if, as long as it's in my house I can just run upstairs and do it but each one of these farms and stuff I will do on video in my let's plays I'll show you how I do all the redstone and stuff if you don't know already but yeah that is basically what I'm going to do for this area not much I can do in this episode now as it's getting late and I already recorded this before and this is my second time to record it I don't really know what else to show you guys um we we'll finished this we're gonna finish the pumpkin farm in the live stream and we're gonna carry on with these kind of farms in my up and coming let's play so yeah keep an eye out for that I've already done an enchant so at this point I would usually go and do an enchant to finish off the episode but I did an enchant in the previous recording and I got this pick here and it was what is it 
efficiency three, unbreaking three, and fortune two. That was with a level twenty five of uh, twenty four because I was trying to get a level twenty five, but I couldn't get it because of the way these uh, these are organized. I need to like break some of these books and stuff. I put the torch there, torch there, torch there, and it gave me level twenty four. So I just enchanted it with that, and that's the enchant it gave me. So pretty decent, but. Yeah, guys, so take two is finally over, and let me double check. I am recording. It, the icon is red up there. Um, yeah, guys, so look out for my up and coming videos. I'm trying my best to keep to my schedule. Let me know what you think of my new schedule, guys, of uploading once a week. Um, yeah, I, I'm enjoying doing it. I think you guys are liking it. Videos are getting good responses. Um, yeah, um, Skyblock is going to be coming up on Thursday and Friday. Server tour will be Saturday. And um, let me know what you thought of my mod review. I started my new mod review. They're going to be coming up once a week. So let me know what you think of them too. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I will see you on Sunday for another Let's Play.